boss decks now installed. This is the U16 for the students' project. All the meters have been repaired, um, so we've got all 16 working, even though only uh, tracks uh, 14 onwards are being used for tracking, because track 2 is going to be running the time code, and unfortunately track 1 doesn't work. So the meter does work, but everything else is working absolutely fine. That was a big ball ache. But anyway, what we've got here, Fostex E16, um, it's got a, a SMPT to MIDI time code converter box, and there is a little SMPT MIDI time code into MIDI USB into the Mac of the main studio. There's the main controller that's going to enable us to locate and also this is the bit that is doing all the ins and outs for the semptis. This one here is the split output that's going to the computer interface and this is the one that's controlling the machine. Over here on the SSL we've got a simple little 8-track project that has been tracked across by the patch bay here. Outputs straight in. This has got a resistor network um, knocking plus 4 signals down to minus 10. Then the output directly above come back on some playback channels and generally we use the SSL's trim controls just to bring it back up so that we got minus 10 to plus 4. It doesn't seem to be any noticeable noise as such. So here we go. So this is the recording as we go. So just press play from here. It's located with an offset. So this is five minutes and we're playing. There's our offset. So this, at the moment, is playing off tape. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mute the drums from tape. And I'm just going to bring the drums back in from the computer. Turn the computer off. Bring the drums back Looking for off tape. Lovely.